Okay, don't think that today was all about science. In fact, what I learned was that some of those soft skills, some of those English skills are more important than some of the engineering skills. In fact, I talked to Mark Howell. He was the guy with the hydrogen tractor and the methane tractor, or methane, because he was British. But the thing about it is, as soon as we stopped rolling the camera, he said, I want you to share with these kids. I want you to share that for me, the important skill wasn't the engineering. I was part of a group in England where he was from, similar to our FFA or our 4-H, that was actually involved in public speaking. And so he had contests and he was part of competitions for public speaking. So when his job moved from uh, one area in Europe and the company moved that division to another area in Europe, he said, I had the engineering, I started in drafting, and that's my specialty. But what I'd done is through my training and education, but also in my workplace, I had gotten good at public speaking. So when the, the area moved, I was able to stay on. And he's now the head of the alternative fuels division because he had the public speaking ability to go out and explain all of these engineering things. So he was a good engineer, but he could also communicate that to the public and communicate in a way that was effective. It wasn't too technical. And as you can see in the video, he, uh, he and I really had a good conversation, but he wanted me to share that with you, that taking the opportunity to train yourself in skills that you're not necessarily gifted at initially or innately. He's good at engineering and science and fiddling. What he wasn't good at was public speaking, but that's a skill that he could develop and he could gain through a little hard work and a little practice. So that's one of the things that he absolutely wanted me to share with you.